So he has written both here, Dhamdi and Dhamdi. Yes, sir. Some, some significance of the name? Uh, there was a person after whom it has been named, Muchaba Dhamdi. So uh, the significance is that it is, uh, the legend has it, that if a snake bites him, he would not die, snake will die. <laughs> <laughs> Swami Vivekananda, Bhagavad Gita. Tell me something about Swami Vivekananda. Sir, he was born in 1863, and uh, main contribution which we remember that is 1893's Parliament of Religion, where he made the address, and it in in a sense revived the glory of India and helped the nationalism in India. So many of the freedom fighters were also inspired by Swami Vivekananda. We had Janamashtami 30th of this last month, I think. Yes, sir. So when, uh, and the newspaper also, they were mentioning that this is his uh, birthday, uh, some date was given, uh, so many uh, centuries old and all. So what was that? When he was born? Sir, I only remember that 5,000 years ago. 5,248th birthday. Where he was born and he was which uh, child of parents? Devki. Devki was the mother. Vasudev. Uh, Vasudev was his father. And in the Mathura jail, he was born. Six child, child, seven child, eight child? Eighth. Eighth. Yes, sir. Who was seven? Balram. Balram. And who was Durga then? Uh, yes, sir. One. One Kanya was also born and, and the Kans killed him. She was which number? Sir, I am forgetting. Yes. And Lord Krishna is the incarnation of which it is, God? It is believed that Lord Vishnu's incarnation he is. Which incarnation? Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth? Eighth. Huh? Eighth incarnation after Ram. Parshuram, then Ram, and then Lord. Okay. Uh, just tell me, in 1980s, there have been a lot of happenings in the country, political, uh, economic, social, as well as environment related. Just tell me, can you list two or three of them? Even, even democracy also. 1980s? 1980s. Sir, so this polity wise, if we see, uh, this Mandal Commission came, the reports was given by him and this 1984 assassination That will take as political wise or social? Yes sir, social also, okay. social economic also Then sir, this assassination of our Prime Minister Indira Gandhi Then this uh, event of terrorism in Punjab was happening, that was a related event mm -hmm. Uh, economy wise, sir, in 1980s, late 1980s, during the Rajiv Gandhi era, the computerization age and all this uh, helped in uh, Indian in IT sector. Am I not related? Yes, sir. Uh, can I take some time? So 1970s I remember, Sundarlal so Mahabharata, 80s I from, yes, this Montreal Protocol, 1987, but that's international event. Something more, yes, India also, many things happened. Sir, I'm forgetting. Bhopal Gas. Bhopal Gas Tragedy, yes, sir. Environment Protection Act. Yes, sir, 1986 Environmental Protection Act. Forest Conservation Act. Yes, sir. So, whether the Forest Conservation Act also is environment related? Yes, it is environment related. How? Because the policy that says that 33% of the area. I'm talking about environment and forest conservation act. Policy is something different. Yes, sir. In that act, it is, I think it is mentioned that 33%. What is the act? You know what is the act? Act is uh, something, the bill, when it is passed by the parliament, both houses. No, no, no. Yes. What is the objective of that particular act? 
conservation of forest, conservation of forest, and also increasing acreage, increasing the acreage under forest cover. No, sorry, sir, I am unable to remember right now. Okay. Uh, plant three. Keep plant three, have you heard of? Keep plant three. Yes, this sir. is your Rajasthan model village. Sorry, sir. No? No, sir. Uh, how Rajasthan performed in uh, Karabakis? Yes, sir. Uh, these two players won that uh, one is Sundar Gurjar and another is Devendra Chajadia in javelin throw. He won silver and Sundar Gurjar in the same event won. Uh, bronze and this uh, person, 19 year old Agni Lekra, she also won in the shooting 10 meters rifle gold. She won. And I think we were seeing yesterday she won bronze also. Yes, sir. Yesterday she won yes, bronze. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, are there any, any service? Yes, sir, I do not know. Government generally offers service to them. All the free and forest service. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, we have seen appointment of uh, Supreme Court judges and High Court judges in the last few days. Today, how many, how many judges were appointed or uh, recommended for the High Court appointment? 44. 44 from bar. Uh, so I am unable to remember exact figures. No. More than 100. No. More than the question is, uh, what is the eligibility criteria for the High Court judge and the Supreme Court judge? Uh, there is a collegium mechanism which has been built. So, when the high court judges are being appointed or promoted to that Supreme Court status, then the collegium, uh, the president consults. No, I am not asking about the person, I am asking about eligibility. Who eligibility. eligibility. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, 10, I am trying to remember, sir. Citizen of India, then uh, experience as a lawyer, either as a lawyer of 10 years and or as judicial officer for 10 years. Okay. Yes, sir, or will you want? More than this. No, you are sure about what you are saying? Or, uh... There is no distinguished jurist. That is a uh, criteria which... Uh, okay. You have philosophy as one of your options. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the philosophy of Indian Constitution? So the preamble, yes. uh, it has what the, are the key philosophies that's writing in Indian Constitution. These ideals like uh, justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, then the source of the Constitution, people, these are the ideals. The key philosophies of the Constitution. Yes, sir. Do you have a philosophy in your life? Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, I honestly believe in this statement of truth as my philosophy, that the philosophy which I follow. Atma Mokshartham Jagat Hitayacha that the world may benefit from a person's action and the person may himself benefit as regard to the attainment of liberation by his own efforts. Okay. Uh, can you tell us some uh, contemporary Indian philosophers and their contributions? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, there are many. For example, M. N. Roy, who gave the idea of new humanism, radical humanism. Then we have Gandhiji who also gave developmental theory, sustainable development, Gandhian development particularly, which is more than sustainable development also. Then we have Swami Vivekananda, who is Gyan Yoga, uh, leading towards Advaitic kind of philosophy. Then Sri Aurobindo, who has given the concept of integral yoga. And there are many like uh, J. Krishnamurti is there and others also are there. You have a graduation in uh, instrumentation and control engineering. What are some of the developments that has uh, happened in the sector? Sir, for a, uh, one recent incident which I read in the newspaper, Bengaluru Metro, it has installed uh, many CCTV cameras, more than 8,000 cameras for the security of women. It is related to instrumental in, in the sense that uh, if they are using AI to sense the if there is anything like change of expression of uh, some male people around female, and it shows whether it is aggression or empathy or something. Then the control room, it but, captures uh, is the Is that data. not more of a computer engineering rather than, when, when we say instrumentation and control engineering, it uh, basically deals with uh, yes, sir. operation of larger equipment and yes, sir. things like 
Yes, sir. Basically, they are doing it with the control room. When the data is fed, fed specific data of aggression or something, then the control room takes action. This is what is to be done in instrumentation. Instrumentation and control. By instrumentation, we have these uh, ideas of sensors, transducers, actuators to use the data and to produce a desirable output. So, in this case, the desirable output is yes, sending the security person to the right location. You studied in Dubai University. Yes, sir. There were some environmental issues associated with the campus. Yes, sir. It is a village, Charodi village, in which it is built okay. nearby Ahmedabad. So, it was a kind of forest land only. So, so what is the current status? It's a university now, and it's a, the road is also developed, SG Highway. Highway is developed. So, forest clearance has been given, had been given earlier also. Okay. Blind chess. What is blind chess? Uh, so basically, there are normal chess is there when we play together and see the board and play. In blindfold chess, either one of the player or both of the player would not see the board. Just by speaking notations, they will play. So I can play by visualization, uh, by speaking notations without seeing the board. That is blindfold chess. Um, so, uh, grandmaster yes, in sir. chess, what is the process and uh, who is the youngest grandmaster? Who is? Grandmaster. Youngest Grandmaster. Sir Abhimanyu Mishra recently became youngest Grandmaster and from American citizens. What is the criteria to become a Grandmaster? There are criteria like norms. We have, one has to get three norms, three GM norms to be, become a Grandmaster. These are given by FIDE and in tournament of uh, whether there are IM playing or some number of GMs playing in such tournaments, one has to score, one has to either draw against the GM or win against the GM. And when the three norms are there, he is declared Grandmaster. This is FIDE according to rules. Okay. Uh, so, this again, blind chess only. Uh, what is the process of blind chess? Uh, so, you play blindfolded. So, you play with only one board or, you, or can you handle more than one board? So far, I have tried only one board. I so have a wish. Yes, sir. For how long you been playing this chess? From the uh, seventh standard. Okay, and blind chess? Blindfold recently, four or five years only. Four or five years. So, uh, what's your target in blindfold? Blind chess. How many boards would you like to play? Maximum. Uh, so far, how many maximum has been played so far? I have played many games, but so not simultaneous. Whether, you know, who has played the maximum board in the world so far? Ma'am, I heard that Alexander Alekin, I read it. Alexander Alekin played more than 130 games together. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. And he wins always. Mostly he won. Mostly he won. And why didn't you pursue chess as your career then? Because everything is to do with chess in your life. Yes, ma'am. Ma it was a decision also. I had this feeling also that well, what should I do, whether chess or civil services. I chose civil services because chess deals with, in my opinion, insentient things. There are pieces which are not living. In civil service, we deal with people. We can help people in their own life. And again, then chess is a very limited thing, 64 squares. Life is a big thing and we have to do many things with Helping people, co people. Answer, was it family pressure, outside pressure? Or no, this was my decision. My so decision. Your decision okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. And apart from chess, it is all scriptures, which you know I can see. Yes, ma'am. So, from where did you get the inspiration for reading various scriptures? In my graduation, I first started with Swami Vivekananda. Then I got into reading him, Gyan Yog, Karma Yog, etc., the books of Vivekananda. Then, then on the process started, what is Karma Yog? So what is Karma Yog in Bhagavad Gita? So I tried to explore that. Anything in, you would like to share with the board, uh, any quote of Vivekananda? Which uh, you really believe in? Yes. They alone live, who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. This is what he told. Can you just translate this in words? That is what he wants. Means he was telling Raja of Mysore when the country was colonized, when the kings were helping Britishers. So he had a kind of message to him. Uh, the kings, how should they behave, how their duty, 
towards is towards people, not towards colonial rulers. Uh, according to Hindu mythology, how was a human created? How was human created? Mm -hmm. Hindu mythology. Uh, in there are the concept of yuk, mahayuk. Then four yugs are there. In one mahayuk, uh, we have fourteen manvantaras, manu avatars. So from those avatars of manu, it comes. Human beings come. And who wrote Ramayana? Valmiki originally. And what was his real name? I forgot to have yes. Who wrote Vedas? They are called Aparushaya, not authored by anybody. So what and was this written I would take the reference of Vivekananda, what he spoke in the Parliament of Religion. He said that Vedas are eternal because these are the principles which are eternal, it's like gravitational law. It is there, but Newton just discovered it. Likewise, our rishis. Jamdagni or Atri or Vishwamitra, etc. They just discovered those eternal truths and put together in the was form of Vedas. Was there any female also? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Many richas are given by females. Gosha, Apala, Lopamudra, etc. Okay. Okay, your father is a shopkeeper. Yeah. So, um, how is uh, you know this uh, business impacted by? Uh, since these big retail chains have come in. What has the impact of these big chains like Moor and others on these commercial people? Yes ma'am, ours is a shop in a village. Mm -hmm. So not much affected by this. Mm -hmm. However, if, if there were any urban shop or mm -hmm. shopkeeper in the urban area, their business is impacted by this big retail chains. Who has been impacted most by them, by these big retail chains? These Kirana shops, I mean, the, these are affected when people would uh, delay their shopping plans. They would go to mall and rather buy cheap because so they have a problem of letting these uh, you know, big malls open at the cost of these Kirana stores. In India, the effect has been less. <laughs> As Walmart chairperson also said that we are finding it difficult to penetrate into Indian market because these Kirana shops also have their some specific things, specialties. For example, they have relationship with the consumer shopkeepers. Then sometimes the relayed payment is also allowed by them. So these are favoring, particularly in the rural areas, they are very much favorable. So but in cities and urban In cities, these are these are the way around. Okay. <coughs> Hemant. Hemant, you graduated in 2014 and it is 2021. So what have you been doing anything else apart from preparing? Sir, apart from preparing, I was just pursuing hobbies. And last year, I sir got selected in uh, UPPCS, Excise Inspector. And this year, I got selected in Rajasthan Services also, 206 rank. Okay, okay. So, what service are you going to get in Rajasthan PS? RTS, Tehsildar Service. Yeah, RTS, Rajasthan Police Service. Rajasthan Tehsildar Service. Tehsildar Service. Yes. Okay, okay. Good. Uh, you are from Rajasthan. Uh, Hemant, what we see is that we have no dispute with Pakistan on the Rajasthan border. And uh, but in neighboring states such as Punjab, JNK, we have continuing dispute. So why is that Rajasthan border is so peaceful? One reason, sir, I see that the border is delineated in mm. Rajasthan, mm. while it is disputed in Jammu Kashmir, POK mm. region, etc. Mm. Mm. So the un unsettled nature of borders is causing this. Mm. Then in the POK region, mm. many people are taking shelters, terrorists, and they are also causing a lot of trouble with mingling with the IESI and together creating plans to destabilize Indian territory. Mm. So. Okay, okay. Uh, recently, you must have uh, observed that there was a dispute regarding the Amargarh fort. Uh, some uh, people, uh, some people from the tribal community said that we have been worshipping our deities and then uh, some scuffle broke out. So, what, what was the reason <coughs> of that uh, dispute there? Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. You are not aware. Yes. Okay. You are optional is philosophy. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, can you tell me whether one can be ethical without being religious? Surely, yes. Okay. There have been examples. Voltaire was... Uh, give me an example. Voltaire was one. 
then oh. Voltaire, Voltaire, oh. then M. N. Roy. He was a theist, but he was very much favorable. Oh, okay. freedom fighter also. Constitution he gave come oh. Oh. early draft. Yes, sir. Hmm. You have mentioned that you have read the Bhagavad Gita also. So, what is the most important life lesson that you have drawn from? So the sthit pragya, the concept mm. of sthit pragya, mm. uh, it is mentioned in the second chapter that dukheshvanu dvigna manaya sukhesha vigat asprava mm. vitaraga bhaya krodha sthir adhir muni mm. uh, That deals with that in victory or defeat or mm. in happy moments or in discomfort, one should be stable, mm. stable in life. Then this concept of sthit pragya also deals with defeating the enemies of this lust, anger, mm. illus- delusion, etc. So it's very important in life of normal person as well as civil servant. Okay. You have also mentioned that you have read both the Ramayana as well as the Mahabharata. No sir, I have not read. So listening to Katha. Yes, yes sir. Okay. So can you tell me one similarity and one difference between Lord Ram and Lord Krishna? Uh, similarity is that they would fight for the Dharma, establishing mm. the righteousness. Mm. The similarity is that while Ram was Maryada Purushottam, Lord Krishna was uh, Leela Purushottam. So, mm. breaking laws would often come with the character of Lord Krishna. We don't often see this breaking of laws by Lord Rama. So, mm. in the Mahabharata war also, like Karan was killed unethically, mm. Dronacharya was killed unethically. Mm. So, this would, Ram would never allow this. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, Swami, when we talk about Swami Vivekananda, it is normally said that uh, he had a lot of contribution to the nationalist school of thought. So, uh, what do you know about him? Sir, his ideas, the glorification of India, its past, and belief in the youth, the capacity of Indians, that they can rise and they can be also with the topmost ranks of other international countries. Mm. India must find its place. So, uh, these ideas of Vivekananda and the idea of service, the Ridhanarayan, etc., they penetrated into many. Uh, for example, Mahatma Gandhi said that. India, uh, I loved, but after reading, after going through the volumes of Vivekananda, the love for my country has become thousandfold. Mm. Gandhiji told this. Then Subhash Chandra Bose, Sri Aurobindo, many freedom fighters were there who were oh. inspired by his ideas. Okay. Can you tell me the uh, contribution of the in- concept of integral humanism, which was given by Sri Aurobindo in recent times to build a social harmony? How is it important? Uh, I would just say in what I think about it. Yeah, sure. Sir, it does not believe in any caste, creed or sectarian differences. In fact, Aurobindo said that where other yoga stop, our yoga begins. Mm. And secondly, he had the idea of cosmic liberation, cosmic salvation rather than individual salvation. Mm. So, he wants upliftment of everyone. Mm. So, this is very important in our society if it is implemented. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Simon, the interview is over.